Howdy everybody! Welcome back! Today we're doing more makeup. You can probably expect that it'll be very glowy, bronzy, and summery because those are my favorite things. Uh, but last week we got a little, a little freaky with the smoky eye. So this week I wanted to do like that same idea, something that just embodies summer in its entirety, but just a little bit toned down on the smoke, but still smoky. I saw that Hung Van Gogh started a YouTube channel and I was watching him do his little makeup tutorial and I was feeling inspired to, to pull out some old, old goodies here. So that's what we're doing today, guys. Let us put some makeup on this foss. Okay, first things first. I just, I can't, I know I look like a giant <laughs> crazy egg when I do this, but I just can't have hair in my face when I'm doing makeup. I can't do it. Like, I don't know how people do cute hair while putting makeup on. It is astonishing to me. Anyways, this is what we're this is what we're dealing with. I picked up all the new Patrick Ta goodies, so I might actually start with that. Start with some body things. That kind of seems fun. This is his lip balm, the She's Juicy lip balm. <laughs> Was this named for me? Was this product made for me? Now I did put it on earlier, and I'm not gonna lie, my lips are like really dry, which is why I'm doing this immediately. But I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll give you guys an update later on in the world. Uh, but I love the smell. I love the feeling. It's really nice and minty, very juicy looking as it's perfectly named in the packaging is really cute. I just destroyed it with my hands, but this is the Patrick Ta She's Juicy package. Really, really cute. Little goodies there. And then this is the All Over Glow Bomb. She's glossy for face and body. Now, when I was watching his little, sorry, it's super reflective. There we go. I love this this packaging, this like frosted package, it's really cute. I was watching his little, little tutorial on this and I don't know if I'm gonna use this on my face, we'll see. It smells really nice too. But I did wanna try using it on my body. So I'm just taking this little foundation brush. He was applying it with, I think it was his like Patrick Ta brush, but I did not buy that, I have enough brushes. And I was just putting this on the back of my hand, like that's really pretty. Like. She's glossy for sure, but it does have that very sticky. I just don't know if this dries down, you know? Like, I don't know if my arms would just continue to be wet because when you're using like a body oil, usually it kind of just chills eventually. Um, or if I'm putting on a body oil, I'm like going to the beach and I don't mind being, you know, wet. <laughs> It looks pretty. I, to be honest, I kind of expected a little bit more shimmer in this, but I guess it doesn't say she's shimmery or she's glowy. It says she's glossy. So a body gloss this is indeed. But like, I, f I feel like for $63 Canadian, I could have definitely just used like my regular body oil and put highlighter on. Like it's nice, but this isn't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like it's doing anything miraculous. I do like that it's kind of a multi-purpose bomb. I do think that's pretty cool. I can't give you my final thoughts quite yet, but first impressions is just, it looks like I just put body lotion on. So I don't know why I needed to spend an extra $63 on that. We'll see. Jury's out on that one. This is the Major Glow Dewy Milk Mist. This packaging is positively divine. It is so, so beautiful. Asper, asper. Asper, 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 asper. Anyway, I love, I love how he did this packaging. This is so beautiful. And I usually just love face mists. My first spray of this, I was like, overwhelmed with the very floral, like 1960s floral scent. That's what I, got from this and it tickles my nose. So the smell makes my, my nose tickle. I was really excited for these launches, but I think that it's just a meh in comparison to some of his other launches. Like so many of the products Patrick Dot has come out with, I've been like, I need this. And I think um, the performance of these is very average and I probably didn't need to spend all that cash on these products. Anyway, if you guys have tried any of the new products from Patrick Ta, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these things and this misty mist. So let's move on to the face. I'm actually doing my skincare today. I'm doing it a little bit differently. And that is because the Vichy Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. This one has gotten so much love for me. I do believe I had this in my little project pan moment from 2019. Still haven't finished it, it's still going strong. And for the last like 
two weeks, I've been using it in my actual skincare. And that's because I feel like I wasn't doing this justice. This is a beautiful product and it can be used as like your serum skincare step. So for the last two weeks, I've actually been using this before bed in the morning before I apply my moisturizer. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I don't actually have anything on my face and my face is like starting to die. It needs moisture so badly. So I'm actually gonna put this on as a serum product. Now, typically I've used this kind of like a, a mixing agent for my makeup primer. And I do feel like I've been seeing much better results with it, like actually using it in my skincare cupboard. I've taken it out of my makeup collection and I've put it in the bathroom. And especially right now, like I'm, I'm getting some laser treatments. If you guys missed this week's vlog, I'll link it here for you below to see what I'm doing. But yeah, um, as someone with really sensitive skin, I get really inflamed. This is like the perfect product to kind of calm all of that down. It's really hydrating. It's really soothing. The main ingredients, it's like 89% Vulcan volcanic mineral water, which is really cool. It's got a ton of minerals that are just gonna help to hydrate and soothe the skin. Um, it's got a ton of hyaluronic acid in there as well. And big thanks to Vichy for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now they recently did a huge global clinical study. They partnered with 175 dermatologists. They tested the mineral 89 on 1600 women with varying skin types, varying ages. In the study, the women used it twice a day for four weeks and the results were that it helped to restore the skin barrier and it helped to reduce dry inflammation and irritation so it's an incredible product and I'm excited to keep using it like in my skincare as well and I just want something that's gonna hydrate help with my redness so that's what I'm doing today so the layer is on mineral 89 baby we're getting juicy already on the face then I'm gonna go in with the Victoria Beckham priming moisturizer I was watching that hung van Gogh video and he was using the golden version and I and I just I, I can't believe I haven't picked up the golden version. It looked so beautiful and I want to try it so badly. Um, so might have to might have to grab that, but I'm gonna put quite a bit of this on. I actually loved watching his video where he was putting like layers and layers of it on the face. That's like exactly what I want in my life. Just endless amounts of moisture. And these two products on the base actually mix really nicely together. And that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave it. We're really hydrated, we're nice and juicy. <laughs> yeah, let's go in with the foundation. Now I was doing something experimental earlier. I haven't used the Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face in so long. This is Spectrum Bronze and well, I guess you can't tell in here. Listen, my body is so much darker than my face, like my legs. <laughs> If I were to put like my face next to my leg and my belly right now, it's like a ridiculous difference. I put so much sunscreen on this area just cause I, I burn so easily there. Anyway, I wanted to do some bronzing mixing and I'm, we're just gonna attempt this. I was mixing this on my hand earlier, taking the MAC Face and Body, one of my most favorite foundations of all time. It's such a beautiful product in general, but in the summer, it's, a, it's an amazing option as well. And then I took a little pump of that into the palm of my hand. Someone actually asked me why I was doing the palm of my hand lately. And mainly the reason being is that, I don't know if it's because of the burn or just in general, like when I put products on the back of my hands, which is what I normally do, I find it stains so badly or it's just so dry, or I don't know. I've been finding that the the skin in the palm of my hand, well, first of all, I can like cup and hold the product so much better, but it seems to just mix a lot nicer in there. Like it's a little bit warmer, it's a little bit smoother. It just feels really nice. And to be honest, I've been doing this since I did that video where I was doing like the tips and tricks for makeup, whatever. And ever since Jamie Genevieve was saying to use the palm of your hands for blush application, I've kind of just been putting products in there and it's been great. It's a built-in palette on your body. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this onto my skin. I, I just wanted to test out this new mixture and perhaps I shouldn't be testing things on camera. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a little bit too glowy. I don't know, but we're gonna try it out. I don't know how I feel about that. All I know is that I do want a little bit more coverage. So I think I'm just gonna take the face and body by itself. I'm gonna go ahead and plop on a layer of that. I don't know why I'm talking about coverage when I'm using MAC Face and Body. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna go over with one more layer of the face and body itself. It actually mixed really nicely in terms of just mixing together. Sometimes products just don't mix and you get like little lumps on your face. But this one actually mixed really nicely and I, I certainly look very glowy. I just wanted an additional 
little layer. I also wasn't really sure how makeup was going to apply on my on my lasered face, to be honest. <laughs> but so far, so good! Yeah, this is still very slimy. I'm slimy. It's like my hair is getting caught in it. Ugh. Arguably one of the more dewy, glowy bases I've ever... I've ever done here on the channel. I'm pretty stoked about it. I like that little combo. That was fun. Let's go in with concealer. This is my Tom Ford concealing pen. And I'm feeling, feeling the sleep very much appearing. <laughs> or sorry, the lack thereof of sleep appearing on my skin. I have some really big spots left over and just generally a little bit more raised pigment in my skin from my laser treatment. I mean, this is like the normal amount of concealer I'd apply anyway. We're putting concealer on and it looks like a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna take the sponge and blend that out. Hung Van Gogh in his video was using this like massive body sponge from Makeup Forever. It looked incredible. I'm gonna be on a hunt for that. I've never seen it. I don't even know if they sell it at Sephora. I'm gonna try it online, but it looked so fun. If anyone has tried it, I wanna hear your thoughts. I still wholeheartedly believe that you don't need to spend a lot of money on a sponge, but I can't speak on the Makeup Forever one. I don't know how much it was, but I just love these Real Technique ones. They're just so great and easy. Bronzer time! Fenty cheeks out. Macchiato. This has gotten a lot of love. It's looking pretty pretty filthy. <laughs> but it's time to cake on the bronzer, my good people. One thing I've been doing differently with my bronzer. Normally I would be starting really low with the bronzer. Like I would put it right into the crease of my cheek or where I'd want the crease to be. And lately I've been going above. So almost, almost as high as where I'd be applying highlighter and kind of blending it down. Like I'm not put like, like I'm putting most of the product up higher and then blending it down because I found that that was kind of my issue, I guess. I'd been almost giving my face an unintentional lowered look. I don't really know how to explain it, but I've just been trying to start my bronzer up a little bit higher and giving it a more blown out look, if you will. Still using the Smith 157 brush. Just getting it right into the hairline here. Kind of just like a rainbow across your forehead. I want to intensify the sculpting, the contouring a little bit. So I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. Haven't used this in a hot minute. And I just, I'm going to add a little bit right in the off. It always scares me. It's always so much product that comes off that little sponge. But I just want to intensify this a little bit. A lot of it. I just want a cheekbone to appear. So I'm just putting a little bit of that deeper shade, the more cool tone shade in there. And then I can just take the beauty sponge and kind of blend around that area. Then, ooh, I don't know, I've never done this. I just thought of taking a little brush and dipping it. It's just, it's always so much. So I'm gonna dip it on the back of my hand, work from there. We had some technical difficulties. Sorry guys, it doesn't happen often, but the camera just uh, stopped recording. So all I did was took that little contour and I put it on my nose. So that's where we are. Happy day. Yeah, let's continue on with the face. Nude sticks, nudies matte blush in the shade Nude Peach is what we're going to use now. I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm like obsessed with what we've done on the face so far, so I don't wanna do any swiping action. So I'm just applying that to the back of my hand and I'm going to blot that on with my sponge just for safety precautions. I'm just putting it right on to the apples of the cheeks. What a pretty, pretty blush. Oh, and just blending it upwards, just boop, 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 boop. Or stippling it upwards, I guess you could say. And then I'll just do a little little dab across my nose too. Because I, I know a lot of people put their blush like pretty far back. But I just find if we're if we're doing like a natural summery glowy flush, for me, like that happens literally across my face like this. So that's kind of what I'm trying to recreate when I'm doing a summery look. Would it be crazy to put some up here? Is that gray? Just a little bit of extra? I don't even know if it'll make a difference, but 
the blush is on. Okay, for highlight, I picked up this new little liquid highlighter, Sunlit Glow Away Highlighter from Marc Jacobs. And I haven't used it yet, but I have swiped it many times on my hand. I don't know, that's such a thing. I, I sit and when I'm thinking about doing things and thinking about what products I'm gonna do, I'll just put it on my hand and look at it and I'll be like, wow, okay. Um, so that's what I've done literally a million times with this and it's a really, really pretty sheen. So I'm just gonna take that with my finger and just blend that in all over this area. Honestly, we're so glowy already from that Kevin Aquan product. I feel like specifically it's so glowy, but I do just like to spot highlight a little bit. Take a little bit on the tip of my nose, blend that out there. I was watching someone, I can't remember who I was watching the other day and they put the highlight like on the bottom of the lip too. I don't know if that'll even matter because we're gonna cover it so much with lip products anyway, but I was like, what the heck, I'll try it, sure. So that's the base. I'm gonna leave it alone. We'll powder later if we need. I'd ideally like to powder at the end right before we spritz our face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the brows, but let's just take a moment for this glow right now. I don't know if I've ever done a more glowy look ever on this channel. I'm. I'm like obsessed with how fused and, and magical all of these products are blending together. Ah! So brows. I'm gonna try doing it the Nikki makeup way again where I spritz the Fix Plus in there. I'm gonna take the brush, get the product, and do the soap before applying the actual product that you're using to fill your brows in with. So you apply the soap, take your finger and like press it down onto your skin fling the soap onto your shirt. See, I'm just really trying to slick the soap to my skin. I've been wanting to try the Patrick Ta eyebrow wax, like this similar product, so badly. It has been out of stock, like basically since it launched. So someday, hopefully I'll be able to compare it to the soap, but until then. Okay, so now that our brows are all slicked, I'm gonna take the Glossier Brown Brow Flick, and I'm gonna try to draw some hairs. I struggle with this so much, I'm such a, I'm such a pencil gal. Okay. Uh <laughs> Before I ruin anything more, we're just going to leave the brows. We're going to leave the brows. We've we've done whatever we can here today. Okay, for the eyes, I recently rediscovered MAC Groundwork Paint Pot. There was that moment with the Tom Ford Abyssinian, Abyssinian, and that was a little bit, it was a little bit deep for me. I was really happy to rediscover this, this little moment and I wanted to use it here today, just like a really simple, nice base to the eye, giving us some color, but nothing too dark. And I just wanted to put that all over the eye area. And I'm really just taking that all the way out. You can just take a clean brush and just clean up around the edges. But honestly, I don't mind the idea of it like going out into the face. And then just take that same product on a smaller brush and take that along the lower lash line and just blend it right up to the, the lid where we connect the two together. Okay, so we have groundwork set in as a base. Lovely. Next, I wanna take Nude Sticks Chocolate chocolate, one of my favorite pencils ever. And I'm gonna apply this on the lash line. I think it's always nice, like I do this so much because I just love to have a little bit of a deeper shade along the lash line. I find it makes such a nice difference in terms of the, the smokiness of the eye overall. It's just a little bit of that just to add depth to the lash line. The lashes, the lash line. Didn't know what I was going for there. And then just to warm it up a little bit, kind of set it in. I'm gonna take the Victoria Beckham Tweed palette and this this warm shade, my favorite warm shade. And I'm just gonna pop that like right in the outer corner and kind of just connect it all together. Okay, and just for the cherry on top, I'm gonna take the Rowan, Rowan Summer Disco. Ugh, oh, what a gorgeous product. I just like to rub my finger in this one, honestly, and just get some of the particles and bits and just, oh yeah, dab that right on top for some glitter shimmer joy. I almost forgot about inner corner highlight. 
This is exciting. Vesca Beauty is coming out with highlighters. These beautiful, gorgeous little mini packages. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this one. This is the shade Wish. This is the shade Moonlight. They've got a beautiful range and these are just the, the two that work for my skin tone, but very exciting launch coming from them. And I'm just gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. And on the brow bone. Okay, now for lips, I'm gonna use the M Cosmetics Mink Soft Blur Lip Liner. And then on the lips, I picked up more of the MAC lip oils. So I'm gonna use Bang Bang Baby. Guys, I am so in love with this formula. It is such a Stunning, stunning, stunning formula. This one's a really nice coral color. Mm. You know what? I actually, mm, I kind of think I want something a little bit more nude. Normally, and normally I always try and match my, my cheeks with my lips somehow, but I'm feeling like I just need something a little bit more nude. I'm gonna use the, the Lancome Under Brown. 267 match acre RIP. I, I still just don't know why they're getting rid of these. So if you weren't aware already, Lancome's discontinuing their match shakers and it's a really sad day. They previously got rid of their juicy shakers. Now they're getting rid of the match shakers. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I, I like the, the brownie nude vibe a little bit more with this look. Now we definitely need some powder, the Pat McGrath Labs powder. We've given the skin time to kind of settle in and do its thing and now I can really see <laughs> where the powder is necessary, which I just like to do around my mouth. I don't like that to be a really shiny spot for me. Just right through the T-zone. Okay, I'm gonna try the, the Patrick Ta Dewy Milk Mist all over the, the skin, but just like on these outer parts because it's supposed to be a dew, a dew mist. And then finally, the 38th step, the Marc Jacobs at Lash Mascara. We will release the hair from its confinement. What did that clip do to my front pieces? Holy moly. All right, you guys. Well, this is the finished look. This is the embracing summer ultra glowy, like arguably one of the most glowy looks I've ever put on my face and I'm thrilled about it. And if there's any other looks or products that you wanna see me do use on this channel, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so much as always for watching and I will see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!